Hey guys, this is Jesse from Bloodthirst Airsoft. I'm sorry you can't see my face, but I got two packages today, again. And I'm going to be opening them with the official Bloodthirsty Airsoft um, knife. The reason I call it um, the official one is because it has a curve like talons on um, uh, uh, like a vicious dog. So um, this box, is, this big box is from Evike. This was $354. I don't know exactly, but I know it was over $300. And this little box right here was from... Um, airsplat.com and this one this one was 9.9 .9 pounds and this one was 2.5 pounds of it. but let's open up the little one first so and the good thing about having a curved blade is that you can definitely open boxes really quickly and since it's an assisted open you're fast you're good So, open this up. Yay, paper! Screw paper. Air Splat sticker. I have those. Another Air Splat sticker. Another one. A UPS note. A little tiny manual that shows you how to load in BBs and whatever. My Air Splat card. And it says... Yep, I got what I wanted. And I got... The WeTech um, G17 series, which is awesome because my M9 stinking um, got in the sand, and the reason it got in the sand was is because it had so many holes to get in. Well, this one has an internal hammer, so this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna open this up a little for you guys. I am going to do a review of this before I stinking um, go out and play with it, so so you guys get that. So it comes in normal plastic box, you get the manual, you get the full metal WeTech mag, and then you get the WeTech gas fuel back clock 17 with threaded barrel, which is cool, that's really cool. So that's cool. I like that a lot. I love um, Glocks. So I'm going to do a review on that later on. And a lot of people said about the threaded barrel. I'm going to test it out myself right after I'm done this video. But it comes in better foam than you would see. It doesn't like chip off as easily. So let's put that back. Uh, WeTech, they make good gas blow back. Like the M14, so it's good. Put that all back in. My cameraman wasn't here today, so I gotta do this by myself. I hope everything's in frame, but let's try this box. Well, they really take this up. trouble getting open boxes. I don't because I have the straight knife. Well, I wanted a plate carrier. Remember how I said in my last video that I was going to buy a new one? Well, I did. This is the Matrix System Tactical Vest, which actually looks really sexy. I think so. In the tan loadout, maybe. Hopefully it'll go out with my tan loadout. But very light and what I like about it is that it has a, a, a thing to put a hydration pouch so that's basically like forty dollars by itself so that's pretty cool fully adjustable I will do a review on that so pretty good and then I got a one point bungee sling that has a skull on it <laughs> interesting bungee sling pretty good Really, really sturdy metal. I got a TSD custom PQ box, battery box, right here. And I wonder what a PQ box would be for. Then I got a Lennox 
flash mag, which is pretty awesome. I'll do a review on that too. And when I say I'm going to do a review, guys, I am because I'm back in business, baby. And then you got um, coupon code, calendar, another coupon code, um, your warranty, the thing that I got, and then what I've been wanting for a while. Ugh. Okay. This is the Matrix slash Knight's Armament PTW, which is really small because I love CTB, so let's open this. Open this slowly, but surely. Ooh. Manual. And you can see, it is a very small gun, but a lot of people say it packs a punch. Here's the PQ box that holds a 9.6 or a custom battery. Hopefully it, cut, hopefully it cut, um, does mine. And here's the 120 round um, mid cap. And it does hold all M4, M16 things, and it just goes with the gun. And here's the gun. Very nice construction, if I can say so myself. Full metal body, folding stock. If I can get this, there we go. Yeah, you guys need you need some some oomph for it. Full metal, which feels so awesome. And this is like a really tiny gun for, especially for CQB. So it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Flip up sights, both rear, adjustable, and it actually has a metal hop up. I was really surprised. It does have a metal hop up. Oh, then there's it has a bolt catch, which is a a plus for realism. That's what I like. So, well, guys, this is um an unboxing and uh, e bike and air spot unboxing. So I'm gonna get a review on these later. And um, hope you like this. And this is Jesse from Bloodthirsty Airsoft. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.